Hey, what is going on guys? This is Connor Sunsku and today I'm bringing you guys a new setup video for fall 2016. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these. I think it was at the very beginning of the summer. Have changed my desk and set up around a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys through everything. Uh, let's start off over here on the right hand side. Uh, I'll show you when you walk right in. You got my uh, closet, but over here we just unboxed and installed. Uh, my brand new 4K monitor. We'll get into that in a second. But uh, let's go on here. Turn on the lights and we got all of these fucking boxes. So uh, I've been through this before. If you guys have seen my older setup videos, you'll know. Um, PS3, that's from like 2007. Blue Yeti microphone. All these different boxes. Motherboards, Xboxes, fucking graphics cards, fans. You name it, controllers, you got a cinch box right there, uh, all sorts of stuff. And then you got your generic clothes and shit, and a uh, PS4 box over there, and just a bunch of other stuff, slippers and fucking flip-flop. Fortunately, summer's gone. Well, technically, that's a good thing, I guess, because, you know, we're getting closer to COD 4. But over here, we got my bed. Fucking love this thing, and it fucking my whole entire life. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, I do love my bed. Uh, sleeps fucking great. Don't make my bed, I'm lazy, but uh, yeah, just a good old bed. Uh, over here, we got like a fucking mini charging station. That's to charge my iWatch or Apple Watch. Uh, down there, we got a, I think, laptop charger and then a phone charger with a USB extension cable, which goes all the way up here. And then I can use my phone in bed. So really useful there. Up here, we have an old HP laptop for a family member. Uh, I just had to fix that up. Uh, over here we have a random aux cord, HDMI cable, that all came with the new monitor that I just set up. Uh, we have a bunch of shit for school. We got an iPad mini with the charger. Uh, I don't really use the iPad that much. It's kind of outdated. I got a few years ago, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, over here we have some Roshi runs. Uh, Yeezy 350 boosts. I might get roasted for these, but uh, yeah, just bought these. I think in January, so uh, really nice. I only wear them on special occasions. I don't show them off that much because I'm not a conceited prick, but uh, I do have those there. Here's some fucking monitor galore, dude. These are all spare monitors, but uh, yeah, over here we have, these are actually, um, that's a Lenovo and that's an Asus monitor. Uh, I use those, or I used to use that for like TweetDeck and like random secondary shit, and that used to be my primary gaming monitor. Until I got that thing right there, but uh, we'll get into that all that good stuff in a minute uh, A couple baseball bats in case anyone wants to fuck around and get smoked uh, PS3 PS3 fucking controller is so tiny. Look at this shit it's So fucking small man. I could not stand that controller part of the reason I didn't play the PS3 that much uh, a bunch of accessories and HDMI cables and stuff PS3 is not even hooked up man. I don't really play it that much, but um, that's that a printer there uh, red ringed uh, Xbox 360 on there. That's unplugged and a bunch of other random shit uh, Secondary computer this thing is more of a stand than anything that computer is like an old family computer from like 2008 <laughs> It's like useless as like I think Windows XP on it still uh, Complete trash, but we just use it as like a stand it used to be over in that corner over there and I used to put stuff on it, but I don't really have a use for it anymore. Uh, that thing's a little bit newer. I think that's from like 2011, 2012. Kind of a secondary PC in case anyone wants to come over. They can sit right here, which is pretty cool. We have this Lenovo monitor right here. Uh, pretty good. This used to be over there until I took the, um, what was it? The Asus monitor. I had another Asus monitor. And that's uh, over there now. But uh, over here we have a can of air. Most useful shit ever, literally. Fucking love this stuff. Anytime your setup gets dirty, dusty, whatever, just fucking spray this thing around. Super, super useful. Uh, Red Sox fitted hat. Over here we have a stack of games. We got Black Ops 3 uh, for the Xbox One. Most of my disc-based games are for the Xbox One. Um, just because I don't really know. I don't really know that I'm going to use them for life. I can always just sell them and stuff since Xbox isn't my primary console. But a uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, which is a lot of fun. I wish I had Halo 5. I should probably invest in that because I heard it's pretty good. Destiny, which I was chronically addicted to. Uh, over here, MW2. I have like 30,000 copies of MW2. Uh, MW3, Ghosts on the Xbox One, Black Ops 1. All of these discs have been like, or original like that was bought in 2010 that was bought in 2010 
Black Ops, what, 2? This was bought when it came out in 2012. Far Cry 4, 2K16, uh, the Destiny case, and a bunch of other shit down there. Uh, GameStop Xbox 360 controller, which is used to sync up my Titan 1 over here so I can play with my PS4 controller on the 360. Uh, we got my router here, and this is essential. Now, if you sweat like a fucking greasy-ass gamer, you're going to want one of these. If the room starts stinking up and shit, uh, this is awesome. It's like a Yankee candle, and you, like, shake it up. And basically what happens is it just smells good. It's fucking awesome. It's a lifesaver. Um, if you're in here grinding fucking triple XP GBs like a fucking nerd, uh, it might start stinking up. Give this thing a shake. The whole room smells good. We got some gamer grip over here. This stuff actually works. I did a review on that. If you want that, you can take a look um, on my channel. Uh, we got the router over here. HDMI switch. Uh, that kind of broke, so that kind of sucks, but I have to switch out the 360 PS4 and Xbox One cable now. Uh, that's that, and moving on to what you guys have been waiting for. Right here, let's get a nice view. Uh, before I had all my consoles there spread out across that desk, uh, I do not have that, it's not the case anymore. Uh, I have them all like lined up, so I don't have to fucking get up and switch the disc out or whatever. Uh, when I'm sitting here, I can just do everything from the desk. Now, a lot of people are gonna be freaking out because my Xbox One is horizontal. Um, I read online, a lot of people don't recommend it, but uh, a few guys, a few of you guys tweeted me, said it was actually like not that big of a deal, and I know people that have had it like that for a while, so fuck it, I'll take the risk. Don't play my Xbox One that much, but uh, we'll see what happens there. We have the PS4, of course, this is the original. We'll be getting the PS4 Pro on release date. Uh, over here we have the Xbox 360, and of course the Xbox One. Now, monitor talk let's get into the almighty chair and uh you can see what it's like to be connor semsky for a little bit but uh you're sitting in this chair right uh over here spare monitor this is used for twitter skype discord all those different things uh, oh also i almost forgot uh usb fan this shit is fucking awesome to have on your desk uh during the summer or whenever it gets really hot you go you switch this starts blowing air and it tells the time. I don't know if the camera will pick that up that well, but uh, 12, 3, 6, 9, and it tells you the time in seconds and everything. So uh, there's the second fan. So that's pretty cool. And if you don't want the clock, you can just have it be a regular fan. Uh, super, super useful, especially during the summer. I like having that there, and there's still a few hot days left uh, before the winter comes, or the fall comes, rather. Uh, here we go. Uh, moving on to this. This is my 144 hertz monitor absolutely love this thing like i don't know if you guys could ever really tell how useful these are until you actually use one um that shit will change your life 144 hertz is fucking insane especially gaming in 144 hertz uh, i would put 144 hertz over 4k unfortunately the ps4 pro um i don't know about the scorpio but the ps4 pro is not going to be able to do uh, 144 hertz, which does suck, but uh, 4K is nice, and hopefully it'll run uh, everything smoothly at 60 FPS. But uh, that's that there. Uh, 144 hertz monitor. This is just standard 1080p 60 hertz. This was my like standard gaming monitor until we got this bad boy, which just came in the mail today. Uh, we also got a easy button and a no button. That was easy. Back there, uh, Razer um, Black Widow Chroma keyboard and. Um, Astro A40, of course, with the mix amp over there. Uh, Battle Beaver controller. I talked about this, reviewed it a thousand times. Uh, Control Freaks right there. Use code SEMSGEAR for 10% off. And uh, over here we've got the Razer Death Adder Chroma gaming mouse. And this is like a giant mouse pad, which is fucking awesome. I love this thing. It's basically like covering the entire desk. And you basically have infinite mouse space, which is awesome. Especially if you're a keyboarder, I'd recommend buying one of these. But uh, yeah, it, it's awesome. Uh, I've had that for a long ass time. And here is like the, I guess, grand finale. Just got this thing in the mail. Uh, literally an hour before I recorded this. Uh, I think World at War just finished downloading. So uh, if you guys didn't know, World at War is backwards compatible. And I'm pretty sure, oh, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. I hope there's no hackers, man. Um... And I heard GB's opening up ladders and stuff. But anyways, this is a ViewSonic. I have no idea what the fuck the model number is. I'll put everything in the description. Um, there it is. Gorgeous. Um, I'll have the model number for this monitor 
and uh, my PC build. My PC is down there quietly running. I got a 6700K in there of the GTX 970, uh, SSD, 24 gigs of RAM, you name it. Uh, pretty good PC. I got that specifically for YouTube. And this monitor has speakers, which is something that the other ones didn't have. I got to fucking figure out how to turn those off. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, we got an Xbox One scuff here. Is this going to work? Come on, Xbox. I guess I'm, uh, there we go. You can open up all your shit. So, anyways, uh, Xbox One running right now, playing some World at War. And, uh, 4K monitor. And up here we have the Logitech C920, I believe. Uh, 1080p webcam. Oh, I almost forgot about the posters. COD4 Remastered poster up there. Advanced Warfare poster. Ghost poster. Black Ops 2 poster. Honestly, I should replace that with MW2. Eh, probably replace that with MW3 or World at War. And I guess that can stay just because of what it did for competitive. I don't fucking know. But uh, yeah, this is what it's like to be Simsky for a little bit. We got the mic right there. That is the uh, Razer, I almost said a Razer, Blue Yeti microphone, which is awesome. I got the pop filter right there. Uh, that makes it so that when you go pop. It doesn't make a horrible sound into the mic. Uh, back there, we got some G Fuel, money clip, receipts, headphones, but you name it, just like a bunch of other stuff. Some like uh, pencils and whatnot. And uh, if we go back over here, we got the box for the monitor, windshield wipers. I just had to get replaced on my car. I uh, just threw those out. And uh, over here, we have Michael Jordan absolutely about to destroy Gary Payton. Always love this picture. Uh, that's fucking dominance at its finest. But uh, yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating. I'll probably do another one of these sometime soon when the PS4 Pro comes out. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.